G'day cheeky dogs, my name's Margie and I'm an Australian currently living in America. Today's video is going to be a breakdown of Bluey Season 1 Episode Spy Game. If you're new to my channel, I love to do breakdowns and easter egg videos from Bluey and all of the episodes. I plan on going all the way from Season 1 all the way through to Season 3, so if you like that kind of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, as well as that bell for notifications, so you know whenever I release a new video. Future Margie here as well. This video is a giveaway video as well. There'll be details about it in the description box down below as well as the pinned comment and at the end of this video. With that being said, let's get into the top 15 amazing references and Easter eggs and Aussie-isms that I found in this episode. Now the first one of course is the location. I've mentioned this in other videos, but if you haven't gone to check out Bluey locations on Instagram, definitely go and do it. It is amazing. You get to see the actual side-by-sides of all the places from Bluey in real life in Brisbane, which is where Bluey is based. So this episode is no different. It is amazing because the whole thing is set in New Farm Park in Brisbane. And how do we know this? Well, when they're cooking on the barbecue in the background there, you can see the Brisbane powerhouse. Also, as you look across the river, you can see Lord's Hill College, as well as a very prominent cardiologist house, which is actually a really cool house in real life. But even the toilets and the gazebo that we see Bingo in are also at New Farm Park as well. Which leads me into sort of my second, I guess, Easter egg and reference, and that's the Brisbane specific references. So aside from the actual location of New Farm Park, we do actually see a few other Brizzy icons as well, such as the Story Bridge in the background, the City Cat Ferry as well, with the iconic yellow and blue lines on it, as well as the beautiful power jacaranda trees as well that usually bloom around November time of the year. Now I should also point out some of the animation errors and also animation changes as well. So the main error that we see is that when Bandit takes Bingo to the toilets we see a scene back at the barbecue area and Bandit somehow is magically back there turning the sausages but then the next scene he's back at the toilet block with Bingo again as well so just a small animated error there. And also in some countries the very opening scene is actually cut out. So when you hear Bandit saying oh can you pass me the onions? And they said, oh no, get them yourself. And he's like, oh no, that's not very nice. That's actually cut out from this episode in some countries. So go back, rewatch it guys, and let me know if it's cut out in your country and let me know in the comment section down below. The next little kind of funny dog Easter egg, of course, is when they are at that toilet block, we see a little dog icon to say that it's the toilets rather than the, you know, human icon that we would normally see. Which also brings us into the question of the song that Bingo is singing in it. And in the bathroom, we hear her singing the song, one man went to mow, went to mow a meadow. Now the idea of men and dogs existing within the Blueyverse is kind of mind blowing. I actually did a whole theory video Video about whether Blueyverse is in a post-apocalyptic world where there were humans or if it's a multiverse kind of world. If you haven't seen it, I'll leave a link up here as well as down below. Definitely go check it out. But it is a super confusing one because just later on, Bandit actually references them as dogs, not as men. So it makes you sort of believe that maybe men could exist in this universe. Now, speaking of that reference to dogs, Bandit goes through the idea of like a rock pile and how there's the idea of a pack and how society kind of works. And a lot of people think that maybe him showing the idea of this rock pile is actually referring to a class system that might exist within the Blueyverse. We definitely know that there is sort of a bit of a difference in income. We can see it between Bandit's family and Stripe's family who are definitely more wealthy than Bandit's family. So I guess as well, class systems also exist in the Blueyverse. Our next awesome detail that maybe you might have missed is the introduction of Honey and her family. So we see Honey as well as her dad, Marcus, who we find out later on, works at the university with Bandit. And I think he might be a paleontologist and I'll get to that in a second. But we also learn her mom here is Daisy and something really cool is the voice actors of Marcus and Daisy are actually people who work at Ludo Studios. So Marcus is voiced by Charlie Aspinwell who is Ludo Studios co-founder as well as a director and Daisy's voice actor is Sam Moore who is both the producer and the production manager on Bluey as well. The next kind of cool easter egg and also throwback reference to a previous episode is to do with Mackenzie's family. So the first thing I want to mention is this is our first introduction to Mackenzie's mom. She however is a brown border collie unlike Mackenzie and his dad who are black and white ones but something really cool is the background conversation going on with Mackenzie's dad so he talks about how he has just recently gone to sheepdog trials now if you watch my breakdown of the episode barbecue you'll know that Bandit and Stripe were having a conversation in the background about how they were watching a TV show where it was farmer versus dog and the dog was trying to round up the sheep and they couldn't get on the truck and I think that maybe Mackenzie's dad might have been involved in that as well because he literally says that he went to sheepdog trials you should have seen him he obviously did great he even mentions that he was looking at him and he was looking at me so obviously referencing the dog versus sheep idea and then the idea of them being on the truck as well 
Ah, he said he wasn't gonna go. Yes, you are. So I think it's really cool that we have that same conversation both in barbecue scenes within the Blueyverse. So something really interesting and a really fun little throwback. Now, a small difference between the Blueyverse and real life Australia is the alcohol. Bluey does not shy away from showing the parents drinking. However, unlike other cartoons, like for example, The Simpsons, where they show the dad drunk all the time, the Blueyverse doesn't do that. They show adults just enjoying drinks when you normally would enjoy drinks and not getting drunk. And I love that. But something interesting though about the alcohol here is we see them drinking wine, beer out of cans and out of stubbies as well. But like I said, there is a bit of a difference to real life Australia because in Australia, it's illegal to drink outside like that without a permit or in those kind of like open aired areas. Obviously the Blueyverse, I guess, is a little bit more relaxed about those laws. But also something really interesting is at the very end of the episode when the kids are trying to make the parents go crazy and the barbecue lights up on fire, Chili is the one who comes over and douses the fire with a bottle of wine. Our next special mention goes, of course, to Bingo, who is always just such a little star. In this episode, she is the crucial part of the team. We find out that her nickname for this is Sparkle Shot. She always has amazing nicknames. But we also see that perhaps she actually goes to ballet lessons. When she's in the gazebo, she does a few little ballet dance moves. And then the most cutest one is when her and Bluey are holding hands and she does the iconic little leg kick at the end that we usually see in movies when people are really happy holding someone's hands. The next thing I wanna mention is the passwords that they use for the spy game. So the first one is that they use the password zebra. And yes, in Australia, we say zebra, not zebra. Just like you would say Debra, not Debra. Yes, it's a bit of a thing. We pronounce our Zs or Zs as Z sounds, not Z sounds. The other password we also hear is from Honey, who says the word is Diplodocus. Now Diplodocus is a dinosaur. And as I mentioned before, we know that Honey's dad, Marcus, works at the university with Bandit. So perhaps he's a paleontologist and Honey is obsessed with dinosaurs. And that's how she knows the word Diplodocus. The next thing I want to mention is the idea of magic within the Blueyverse. I do plan on eventually doing a theory about this. This. But I think something really interesting is that they show that maybe magic could kind of exist here, or at least from a kid's point of view. So they reference, of course, the magic potion that they are brewing, as well as using a stick as a wand. And I think it's really funny though that in the tree, they've got crows there. They could have picked magpies or any other type of Australian bird, but they picked crows because a lot of the time crows are seen alongside the idea of magic. So I think that's why they picked crows for this. Now, speaking of that magic potion in the sausage tray, we should talk about sausages in general because they are iconically Australian, especially how we make them basically. So Aussies usually tend to really like to burn their sausages. And there's even a whole discussion between Bandit and Mackenzie's dad about this. Now we do hear in the background as well that once their sausages are burnt, that they're just gonna order pizza instead. And we hear Honey's mom Daisy say this. And whilst it's not in the actual episode, if you look in the book instead, especially the Where's Bluey book, you can see a reference to Domino's, as in the pizza joint. So you see Honey's mom here holding the little Domino's bros show where they're about to order pizza to come to the park. So I thought that was something really cool that I should add into this. And my last little Easter egg is a Aussie word or Aussie nickname, and that is Mozzie, which is of course short for mosquito. In Australia, we love to shorten as many words as we possibly can, and mosquito is one of them. Overall, I really enjoyed this episode. I I think that it gave such a good idea of how every member of a team is really important but also how you are as a leader is also really important in keeping your team together. And Bluey obviously learns this slowly over time. We see her becoming a really good leader later on in future episodes, like the episode Circus. But she starts to understand that, you know, everyone has a job and they have to feel appreciated in their job as well. They should be respected and they should also be listened to. So I think that sort of gives a really nice theme to this episode. Overall, I probably give this a four out of five long dogs. I think it had some really cool elements to it. But let me know, what would you cheeky dogs give this out of five long dogs let me know in the comment section down below as well as if you saw anything else that maybe I missed we didn't see any tennis balls or long dogs in this episode at least what I couldn't find so if you do find them let me know future Margi here and I just wanted to let you cheeky dogs know that this video is a giveaway video thank you so much for helping me reach a new subscription goal we are now at 30,000 subscribers thank you thank you thank you thank you so much hey even this little girl is so excited hey but to celebrate that, we are doing a giveaway for the Bluey or Bingo plushes there in the background. So if you would like one of those, just make sure you leave a comment down below. Yeah, yeah you could leave it about literally anything, but ideally yeah. about this video or Bluey. Uh, yeah, oh no, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well. <laughs> we'll be doing a giveaway for this video as well as two others. So make sure you keep your eyes out for those. And I will be announcing the winner on Sunday. 
December 18th at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we'll be doing a live stream for it. I know. If you're wondering what to do as well, always check back at that community tab. But yeah, just leave a comment and hit that subscribe button and you guys will be in for the win. Until the next video, I have picked you out a few other videos that maybe you would like to watch and I will see you cheeky dogs later. Mwah! Bye!